Welcome back to my shader graph tutorial where I show you some incredible examples. This time we will talk about this fish and this fish is incredible. It's not only that the complete animation uses no code, it's completely made up in shader graph. It's also the fact that there's no texture involved, but it looks like a texture. I grabbed this FBX from the GitHub repository. The link is down in the description. We will start by creating a shader by going right click shader PBR graph and we will call this fish. Next up we will create a material called fish as well. The material is using our shader fish and in the inspector we will drag and drop the material on our fish and we will open up the graph. Okay, let's create this texture, which is not an image, image texture. It's um, based on a twirl. Let's do this by add some uh, tiling and offset. And the first parameter is a vector two, line offset. We will drag and drop it here and put it in the offset. And now comes a trick. The uh, twirl node can really twirl our tiling and offset and then it looks like this. We plug it into the UV and now we create uh, one parameter for center strength and offset and we will call it twirl center strength and offset. Okay, let's drop and drag and drop everything in. The center goes here. Now we see the twirl. Uh, we will set the center default to 0 0.5. Now it looks better. The twirl strength and the twirl offset. Let's set the twirl strength to 3. Okay, let's split the output and the X value goes into a modular node and we will do this twice. Now we need a vector one and this is a line count. The number of lines uh, can be set to 15. We will drag it in and we do not want the line count. We want to divide it and say one divided by line count this is our value we need and this is our modular value and here you can already see that um, this is happening because the x value is iterated over and over again and the modulo lets the value start all over again so we have this small but noticeable gradient that starts over and over again over the whole Material. We want to do it twice, but on the second one, we want to multiply it uh, by a factor of two. So we take the modulo, multiply it by two, so that it's twice as big as the one it is here on top. We can set this to the albedo already and have a look at it. So on the left, you can see this is what it looks like right now. The twirl is nice. The uh, gradients are nice. Okay, we do not want a gradient. We want really steady colors. And uh, therefore we use this step node. The edge is a modulo value and we will um, use again this one divided by line count here. And now you see uh, the step value is something like, um, yeah, the threshold if the edge value is over the threshold and the threshold is the in value then we will have a white value a white color otherwise we will have a black color here here you see this nice stripes and we can use this as the albedo save and it already looks nice on the fish but there are no colors you see that these white things we want to um, leave them as they are and the black ones should be overwritten by a rainbow. Okay, for the upper part, we want to min-max the value. So we use the remap node. Uh, this goes in and then again, we want to use this node here, but the problem is that we only want this here on the X value and then uh, use this min and the max is always, oh, sorry, no, we want to use it here, on the y value. The x is always zero, the y is always the one divided by line count. 
and there we go this is the effect we wanted now we want to colorize it with uh, two different gradients so we will add colors color one light and color one dark and the same one with color two here we go i got them all this is orange this is red this is white this is a, a gray and now we want to linear in interpolate between them and the value for the interpolation is this value of this remap and this is how it looks like and we want to do this uh, twice now we want to linear interpolate between those two so on the black ones we want to have this orange one and on the white one here we want to have the white one here so again linear inter interpolate between those two it's not a really interpolation between those two because we will use absolute values one and zero as this is coming out of here you see for every black stripe here you see uh, the image from above is taken and for the white places here the image from below is taken because white is one black is zero this means if this is one here uh, is this input is used otherwise this input okay we want to have a rainbow instead of orange therefore we uh, add a vector one rainbow range and rainbow offset uh, we take the uv node uh, split the uv node and take the u value so the first uh, node here or the first output and multiply this with a rainbow range add the offset now i set the default value of those two to 0 0.5 this is the result okay what do we do with it now here comes the next trick we have this image and this image and there's a node called q and then we just drag it in here nothing is happening but we will change to normalize instead of degree and now we have it so the hue is changed uh, based on the u value so uh, from the uv so it starts here with um, this value and then it goes over here and that's it we are done albedo save the asset so the best thing is we can change the line count we can change the rainbow range the rainbow offset so everything is possible here and this is really cool now let's continue with the I. so there's it was an i in the example we will create this now the eye is a circle but we only have the ellipse node um but this is all right we will use values like 0 0.03 and 0 0.06 and we need a tiling and offset for the uv so that we can really position it this is a position i will use a parameter for it set it to the offset now we can really see the position i use the value minus 0 0.3 and 0 0.104 and now the position is here and if you imagine this is a fish you see it must be the right position so now it's still wrong we want a one minus node this is what is happening just change black and white and we need to linear interpolate it so and therefore this goes directly here this is a mask and this means only the white spot will be used in the upper corner and for the other one we will use the image we already got move it back here and no i guess it's better the other way around this one goes here this one goes here yep it looks better so I adjust the eye position a little bit. It wasn't perfect, even though I thought it would be. But there we go, these values do work for me and it looks perfect. So this is our fish. This is a texture that is not an image texture. It's made up completely in the graph. Now let's do the animation. Therefore, we take the position node from the object, split it so that we can use the y and z value add them together so um and we will multiply it by the frequency now we have the frequency we need um the time now to have some animation 
Enzy mass is easy here. We got the time, we get the speed, multiply those two and add the frequency. The frequency has a value of five, the speed has a value of one. If they are both zero, nothing will happen. You add those two together and put it in a sign so that you have these waves of gradients between black and white. This is what we want. Then we multiply it with by a distance to make the effect a little bit more subtle. So I used 0.3. You see the white is not that white anymore. And now we do the same trick as always. Take a position node, split the position node and combine the position node again. So let's do this. You take the object space, this goes one to one out and it will result in the position. And the only thing we do is we will modify the x value here and we will add this sine value. So this waves that are going up and down and the output goes here. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit too heavy. The head shouldn't shake, but the tail is already okay. Therefore, we take a UV node, split it, take the X value, use the power of two to have uh, more white than black and a very sharp edge here. We take the position node again. And the only thing that we have to do now is set it to object. Linear interpolate between this wobbling effect and the position. And now depending on this value, either the normal position is used or the wobbling. And here it is. The white value is just a fish in its normal position. And here it slowly goes into black and black means, means take it from A instead of B. Nothing happened. Two problems here. The first one is I have to set the position of course to the interpolation result and I have to change these two values because the white one is upper one and the lower one is black here and it looks better. So here is the fish, the tail is wobbling and the head is steady. So and we are done. This is a fish completely made in shadow graph. The animation is made in shadow graph. No no texture involved. And if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to see more Shader Graph tutorials, just let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.